Hello guys! Today I'm gonna have a topic about how to be secured financially. Paano ako nag-save kahit mag lang ako at paano mag-save kahit maliit lang yung sweldo mo. This topic is na hindi ko pwede itong i-compare sa atin sa Pilipinas kasi iba yung lifestyle sa atin, iba yung sweldo sa atin no pero sa may mga sa pero sa taong may kaya at may magandang trabaho sa atin pwede itong i-apply sa sarili nila or tips sa kanila so this topic is about my situation or my financial situation um how I save hmm. how to be financially secured for me um, savings is really important magsipirit ka kahit magkano extra for your savings dahil para sa future mo hindi lang para sa iyo is um is also um, help to your family, you know, in case of emergency. What I learned about financially is don't buy stuff what you want. Buy only the stuff what you need. Kahit silpa na, mahal gihapon kung imunang paliton. Even you don't need it, no? I know some things make us happy pag may nabili ka ng gusto mo pero di mo naman kailangan it still make us happy no? and I know that and I just wanna tell you guys stop make things make us happy for short of time after a weeks, after a month after with that nawawala na yung value bumubili ka naman ng iba kahit hindi mo naman need, di ba? Pwede ka namang bumili para sa sarili mo as a remembrance or first job mo, first payment mo na feel mo na lagi ka lang nagtatrabaho at wala kang um, give sa sarili mo pwede ka din gumastos give for yourselves sometimes kailangan natin yan, di ba? Being, but being secure financially, it is really important. Then collecting um, stops or things, kahit marami ka nang um, kinukulik sa bahay mo, if you see those money, the worth of the stuff that you bought, you already save enough. For example, gumili ka ng ring, um, wala kang separate na savings yung ring worth of uh, 5,000 peso for example lang at kahit wala ka ng budget for a month bumili, pa, bumili ka pa rin and at the end of the month na short yung financially mo so gusto mong ibinta yung ring na worth of 5,000 peso Hindi na yun the same price the same price nung ring na binibili mo pag ibinta mo yung ring. So, sis, if you save the, the money, yung 5,000 is more worth than buying the ring. For uh, like me, for example, my financially um I earned that amount like sabihin na natin um, with 100% yung uh, yung sweldo mo is um, 50% is ginagamit ko for my apartments for my car, for my insurance at iba-iba pang mga insurance and the rest 
50% is um, I can do whatever I want, kung anong gusto mo. 25 or 20 to 25% ginagamit mo sa mga pagkain or mga gamit na kinakailangan mo every day. And 25% is you put that in your savings. And that's how you feel secured financially if you do that every month. You don't need to do that every month, guys. Kasi may mga time talaga na hindi ka makapag-save dahil may emergency, may babayaran kang hindi mo in-expect. So, that's how I save fin uh, my money or financially secured. Minsan, may mga tao talagang um, bumibili ng mga gamit kahit hindi mo na kailangan. Minsan, yung mga taong ganyan is gusto na nila gusto lang nilang i-show up sa mga kapitbahay o sa ibang tao na nakabili sila ng mga mamahaling gamit, mamahaling bags, mamahaling shoes or maraming gold para lang na makarinig sila or may narinig silang comment na wow, ang yaman na niya kasi ang ganda ng bag niya, ang mahal kaya ng bag na binili niya. Ang mahal kaya ng shoes na binili, binili niya. No? Guys, what other people opinion is, is not really important. Take care, you're financially, be secure, you don't need to prove them. As long as alam mo, no, alam mo yung sarili mo na secured ka financially. I mean, if kaya-kaya mong bumili, ipalaki yung sweldo mo, why not go for it, no? But you have to be se you have to be secure financially. You have to separate something for your savings. And that is really important kasi may mga kababayan tayo or mga Pilipino na nasa abroad is um ah hindi lang yung mga Pilipino or may mga kasama ako na kahit malaki yung sweldo nila is marami pa rin hindi pa rin sila nakapag-save ng money. Kasi bilila sila ng bili kahit hindi mo naman kailangan, di ba? And this is only my tips. And, and that's what I learned about financially. Because nag-iisa lang akong tumataguyod sa buhay with Nicole. And about everything financially. Lahat. So I learned about it saving is really most important guys kahit magkano pa yan kahit piso pa yan is still good to put that in your savings you can pwede ka namang bumili kung feel mo na secured ka na you can buy whatever you want no if you feel if you feel you save already enough then you can buy whatever you want no You can do that sometimes too, no? This is only a tips sa mga taong nasa abroad kahit maganda yung mga trabaho or mga taong may problema about saving money although maganda naman yung kita nila, malaki naman yung kita nila is may problema pa din about saving money, maraming utang doon, maraming utang sa bangko or kahit saan this is only a tips for you guys iba iba tayo ng sitwasyon hindi ko alam kung ano pa yung mga binabayaran mo but this is how I save a little bit nagsisave or nagsipirit ka for your saving and to be secured financially para sa future mo o kung secured ka sa financially mo is um if my emergency sa pamilya mo, you're not gonna get 
um you know uh worried kung paano mo yun uh, paano ka maghanap ng pera kasi wala kang pera na ibibigay sa pamilya mo kasi emerge kasi kailangan nila ng pera hindi ka makapag-send agad kasi wala kang pera na ka ka pa sa um partner mo no or i don't know yeah so i learned don't buy things what you don't need ane <laughs> Don't buy, don't buy things what you want. Buy things what you need. And no matter how much you earn, save something, separate something for your savings. Para ma-feel nyo na secured kayo. Na kung may problema kayo, at least may saving kayo. So, that was only my tips, guys. Hope you like it. Please subscribe my channel. Bye!